This question is for the government representative in the Senate. Senator Gold, last week it was reported in La Presse that Joyce Ekequan, the First Nations woman who in September 2020 died in a hospital bed as staff laughed at her. She had actually been previously sterilized against her will. In addition to her sterilization, she had been forced or coerced into at least three unwanted abortions. This led to Joyce having an understandable and justifiable fear of la and lack of trust in the healthcare system. Tragically, her lack of trust was proven right and she paid for it with her life. This is an all too common story with Indigenous women in Canada's healthcare system. The spaces that should be the safest for us are often the most dangerous. Action to repair the generational lack of trust will take time, but action to save these lives must be taken immediately. What is the government doing to right these wrongs for Joyce's family and for all of the women who have been sterilized against their will? Thank you. S Senator Gold. Thank you for your question, uh, a colleague. Forced uh, and coerced sterilization is a deeply troubling and unacceptable violation of human rights. Uh, as you would know, Indigenous Services Canada has been looking into this issue and with guidance from the Department's Advisory Committee on Indigenous Women's uh, Wellbeing, uh, which is a committee comprised of Indigenous organizations, including experts and women's organizations. This was launched in 2019. Uh, in addition, uh, the uh, Indigenous Service Canada in January of 2020 uh, supported a national forum on consent and informed choice uh, uh, in Indigenous women's services. Uh, uh, with regard to the tragedy that has, uh, uh, to which you referred um, in my province, uh, as you would know, a coroner's inquest is currently uh, underway uh, to examine the circumstances surrounding her tragic death. 